Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Some of you asked a few questions regarding the next episodes. Let's take a look at them. A.B. Barman asked, Do you think Tommen will die this season? I think he is on his last legs for the story to progress. Do you think Varys would be in King's Landing for the last episode? Yes, I do think that Tommen would die this season. Maggie the Frog's prophecy about Cersei and her children was, Gold shall be their crowns, and gold their shrouds. And when your tears have drowned you, the Valencar shall wrap his hands about your pale white throat and choke the life from you. So I think Tommen will die in the end of this season. And in the next season, we'll see Cersei will go crazy, like Mad King level of crazy. And in the seventh season, the Valencar, which means little brother in common term, will kill her. I have a theory about who this Valen car is. I'll post it in a video once this season is over. The next question was about Varys. Yes, I think Varys will return to King's Landing by the end of the season to make preparations for Daenerys' arrival. He might even have his hand in Tommen's death. Legend of Roto said, I have no idea if this is relevant, but I wonder if the fact that Arya blinded Meryn Chant while she killed him meant she had to be blinded. Jacken also said that Arya took a life she wasn't meant to at the time, and therefore a life must be taken, before apparently committing suicide. We know that he didn't die, whoever and whatever he actually is, yet a dead body with many faces did lay there. I wonder if these things have any significance. I don't think there is any connection between Arya blinding Meryn Trant and her going blind. In the books, the Waif gave her milk every night to keep her blind as a punishment for taking another life, instead of the one she was meant to. She could have asked them to stop, but she kept drinking the milk. As for that person committing suicide, I think the show just added this scene for the dramatic effects. It never made any sense to me. Arya took a life she wasn't meant to, so to balance that, they took another person's life before he was meant to die. They should have saved someone's life to balance that. Like in the second season, Arya saved Jack and Hagar, Rorge, and Biter's lives. So he offered to kill three people to balance the debt owed. I think David and Dan messed up here. I hope that answers your question. Let's move on to the next question. Sidi Kali asked, Have you read about the Fight Club theory concerning Arya? And what are your thoughts? He just asked, I've read a few theories about Arya and the Waif are the same. What's your opinion on it? It would be great if you could make a video on that topic. Mark G said, Excellent observations. Do you think Arya will be helped or saved by the actress she didn't kill? Then the actress will return with Arya to Westeros and play a Lady Stoneheart type of character, since she has experience playing the role of other people. Just a wild theory. There are so many theories going around right now. Let's take a look at them and I'll also tell my theory in the end. First theory is the Fight Club theory, which means that Arya and the Waif are the same person, because no one else has noticed the Waif, and she seemed to know when Arya was lying. I don't think it's correct for two reasons. First, Jack and Hagar saw and talked to the Waif. He told the Waif in the end to kill Arya. It would be like telling Arya to kill herself. My second reason is that if Arya and the Waif are the same person, then all her training was just in her head, which would mean that she didn't really learn to fight at all. Then Jeff Kokaro said, a lot of things don't add up in the faceless man's theory. First, Jacken told Arya that if she joined them, she could offer as many names as she wanted to the many-faced god that contradicts becoming no one. They also said that the first faceless men were slaves that killed their masters and that the many-faced god began by showing people how to change their faces in return for favors. That also contradicts becoming no one. Actually, the first faceless man heard the prayers of many slaves to their different gods 
and he decided that they all prayed to the same God with many different faces. He thought he was this God's instrument, and he gave the gift of mercy, aka death, to the desperate slaves, and later he also killed the masters for them. Yakin Hagar knew about Arya's list, and he told her that if she went with him, she could learn these skills, and she can offer those names to the many-faced God. Then why make her let go of her old self? I think this was a part of her training. Arya was too short-tempered. She let her anger get in the way. So if she would shed her old personality, she would let go of her anger and will become a perfect killer. After that, she could have returned to Westeros and finished off her enemies. But she disobeyed the orders and was punished for it. Then she was given another chance and she disobeyed the orders again. So this time, they have to kill her to set an example, or the other acolytes will follow her suit and will disobey their orders. Third theory is that Arya had fake blood hidden inside. Dave Koss suggested that Arya had a bladder filled with pig's blood over a suit of mail to fool the waif that she died. When the waif will chase her, Arya will lead her in a dark basement. I like this theory the most so far. After a lot of thinking, I came to the conclusion that Arya planned all this. She knew she can never really escape until the faceless men think that she is dead. They'll always come after her. I think Lady Crane helped her with her plans. She probably supplied her with the fake blood from her theater. Arya knew the wave will come after her. Jacqueline Hagar had already told her that one way or another a face will be added to the wall. That's why Arya strolled all around the city so carelessly and stood at the bridge like she was waiting for the wave. We know that the faceless men can change appearances without actually taking a mask. As Jess Kokaro said, it's like an illusion. Maisie Williams said in an interview that she is in the trailer more times than people realize. I think she will lead the wave somewhere alone and kill her. Then she'll take her face and go tell Jacqueline Hagar that Arya is dead. After this, she'll head back to Westeros. I created a poll regarding these theories. What do you think of these theories? Don't forget to tell us in the comments below. If you like this video, please click on the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye-bye.